You know, there are so many revelations in this world and in this life. There's so much prophecy that's around us. And if we're not careful and if we're not in tune to the most high or to the universe, we can miss out what the most high is trying to relay to us. Now, everybody's talking about this incident that occurred with Will Smith and Chris Rock. And everybody asking the question if Will was right or wrong or if Chris Rock was right or wrong and everybody's attention is focused on why and how and uh, what's going on in their personal lives or what's happening behind the scenes. But no one is really seeing the revelation or the prophecy behind what took place. You have two so-called black males that is not known for violence. Two black males that have no criminal past that are extremely nice people according to people that know them. That's not known to be strikers. Even Will Smith's mother came to the forefront to say that Will has never done that before. His mom is saying this. And Chris Rock now is still trying to process what happened. But what's the real hidden wisdom behind that? Now we can say that maybe that was some type of humiliation ritual, like I mentioned in the prior video. But I believe the Most High had just shown me a message that more than likely no one else had caught, or maybe he showed you the same revelation, but yet you really didn't know how to speak it, nor Reveal it. But I want you to listen to a message that Tupac wrote. This is during a 1994 interview with MTV. Listen to what Tupac is saying. And then I'm going to speak on this. Um, again, you have to be logical. You know, if, if I know that in this hotel room, they have, have food every day, and I'm knocking on the door every day to eat. And they tell, and they open the door, let me see the, the party, let me see like they're throwing salami all over. The, you know, I mean, just like throwing food around, where they're telling me there's no food in here. You know what I'm saying? Every day, I'm standing outside trying to sing my way in. You know what I'm saying? We are hungry, please let us in. We are hungry, please let us in. After about a week, that song is going to change the we hungry, we need some food. After two, three weeks, it's like, you know, give me a little food, we're breaking out the door. And after a year, you just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm picking the lock, coming through the door, blasting, you know what I'm saying? It's like you hungry, you reached your level, you don't want any more. We asked 10 years ago. We was asking with the Panthers. We was asking with that, you know, with civil rights movement. We was asking, you know, now that those people that were asking, they're all dead and in jail. So now what do you think we're going to do? Ask. Think about that for a moment. Everybody is talking about Will Smith reached a breaking point. They're saying that it had nothing to do with the joke because Will Smith laughed himself. They're saying that something happened behind the scenes and something that had been brewing for a while. And Will Smith reached his breaking point. And maybe Chris Rock was not the target. Maybe he's taking his aggression out on Chris Rock. But the message is he reached a breaking point. The wisdom behind that and what Tupac had just say. Black people have always been protesting. Think about with the George Floyd, all these protests that black people participated in, supporting the Democrat Party, asking for reparations, asking for this, 
asking for that, asking for this, asking for that. Joe Biden, during his uh, election campaign, made a lot of empty promises. If you vote for me, I will do this. Now that Biden is in office, people are not only suffering more, but black people are completely ignored. Everyone else is receiving rights. And he's signing laws to protect other people. He's giving money. Like Tupac mentioned, you see all this food and they have all this food to give. Well, the United States have all of this money to give to the Ukraine, Afghanistan, to all of these countries that hate America. But yet, black people get nothing. There are no white people that's really complaining about all of the money that's leaving going to foreign nations. They support what's going on in Ukraine. There are even black people that's supporting the Ukraine, trying to help out, trying to be a part of the American society. Yet America is ignoring the so-called black Americans. So what happened with Will Smith and Chris Rock, Will Smith has reached a breaking point like the so-called foundational black Americans, the so-called black Americans will reach a breaking point. Now, what I find to be quite interesting, there are quite a few conversations I had with some white men. And what I found interesting was every one of these white men had mentioned that they expected black people the foundational black Americans, they expected the black community to set off the revolution. I'm not talking just protesting. I'm not talking looting and stealing. I'm speaking the real revolution. White men have told me I'm surprised that black people or black Americans have not risen up because black people have been ignored. Black people have been used and abused by the Democrat Party and still support the Democrat Party. Black people have lost their names, their culture, their nationality. They have no nationality. They're known as black. Black is not a land. Black is not a nationality. It's a color that really don't describe how the so-called black Americans or foundational black Americans look. They don't even know their family if they are connected to Africa. So it makes some black Americans feel good to say that I'm from Ghana or Kenya because of the DNA test. But you have no real connections there. You have no family there. You know no one there. Unless, of course, you met them on the Internet. So at the end of the day, this is your home. This is all you know. And what's even sadder is the fact that if black Americans want to do their research on their ancestry, they can only go back so far and they have to pay for it. They want, they have to pay for the records that was considered lost. See, the identity of black Americans and who they really are is lost, is hidden. And we know that America is pretty good at keeping books. So the information, you can get certain information in the Library of Congress, but each black American have to pay to only find a fragment of who they are. But yet, America ignores the so-called black Americans. So like Tupac says, 
Well, we've done all of this and a lot of people are dead or locked up. So what do you expect us to do now? Once we reach the breaking point, ask, protest, loot, because insurance would take care of all of the looting. So white Americans are waiting for black people to lead the revolution. But black people have not yet awakened. Now you call yourself awoke. You say that you're woke, but yet you're still asleep. You're still slumbering. And there are white people that's waiting for you to rise up in opposition against the way you have been treated in this country. So I hear a lot of y'all talking reparations and you're being ignored and Biden is ignoring you, putting it right in your face, sending billions and trillions of dollars overseas while you're suffering, while you're on a waiting list to find an apartment but yet illegal immigrants can come here and get into an apartment immediately on your tax dollar. So when is black Americans going to reach their breaking point like Will Smith did? Has nothing to do with Chris Rock, has a lot to do with Jada Pinkett and everything that's been going on with Will. Things that we don't see, things that we don't know about, and Will Smith reached his breaking point, a very, a man that's known to be nonviolent, reached his breaking point and slapped another man that is known to be nonviolent on the world stage. To me, is a symbol to the so-called black Americans, the foundational black Americans that maybe you unaware is about to reach or need to reach that breaking point in America because they're ignoring you. They're throwing food around. You see all the food, but they're telling you that America's broke. They're telling you that America is in debt, but yet they're throwing food all around, wasting it, but yet you're being ignored. And you're still on the bottom talking reparation. They hear you. And they're ignoring you. So. Breaking point. Will reaching his breaking point could just be a revelation or a sign that we are about to experience a revolution in this country. Where the foundational black Americans have to reach that breaking point. So. Feedback, tell me what you think. If you got something out of this message, subscribe, click on the Cash App, the Chime, and the Venmo, and support this channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.